Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julie Yip. Before the commercial break, we learned about the importance of accessing healthcare, having a, someone with a familiar face and language, and also for companies such as Colorful Care to be present in the community to increase that ability to access. In this segment, I want to talk a little bit more about the importance of accessing education because information is so important. So at the, at the um, Heritage Museum of Orange County, Mark, you mentioned that that's a venue that you utilize so many times to create opportunities for families to come together, for seniors to come together, to get vaccinated, to get information, and then for those of us, nonprofits and, and, and service organizations, to also highlight some of the work that we do in the community. So can you tell us a little bit about how important information is and education is to our seniors and our families? Yeah, I th thank you. Uh, I think one of the things I've noticed when being out in the community is uh, the literature that we provide uh, the community, whether it's our seniors, our families, they take it and they read it and, okay. and, and, and then follow up with us. Uh, we always make sure that there's a, a resource, a telephone number, whether it's a website, to be able to connect with individuals that need the resources. And I think that's really been uh, what's gotten many people through uh, these challenging times. Um, I, I, was, I shared with you before uh, in, in regards to how difficult things are and not knowing where to go. Right. Uh, that's one of the things where if you can't come to the community center, hopefully you can come out to these events that's available, that's free, uh, to be able to touch uh, an organization and, and ask them, hey, I need help. I think many times we don't ask that. Uh, we don't ask the help that we really need, mm -hmm. uh, but we make ourselves available. And, and that's really what these events are, why they're so meaningful. You know, for our families, when they come out and they talk to you guys and they get all these resources, and they're, they're really asking for you to hold their hands. Yes. And to really give them the, the, the baby steps to get there because, you know, we might pick up a pamphlet and we might see a phone number somewhere. But if we don't have a person to follow through on the case, a lot of times it doesn't get completed. How does your team ensure the seniors are accessing, really understanding the information and completing the process? Sure. The, um, well, it's interesting because seniors are one of the protected groups. Uh, there's a lot of folks that unfortunately take advantage of our seniors. Oh. And so uh, we need at, at that point of contact when we're out in the community, it's really important for us to establish some trust. Uh, because at that point in time, we, we share with our seniors, if you need some assistance, you can call us first. Okay. So that way uh, they, they're initiating the conversation. And, and, and also the language is, like I shared with you, is very important. So uh, when they reach out to us, we're able to communicate uh, in language. Uh, and then from that point, once we get the consent, we're able to then guide them through the services that they need. There's a lot of other resources. Uh, is there a case manager that manages that and that hangs on with the, with a pay, I mean, that, that follows through with each individual case? So for example, if someone's interested in uh, applying for Medicare, uh -huh. uh, they would normally get in touch with someone that will be able to walk them through okay. uh, on a, through their case to make sure that they're able to complete that application. I think that's really the 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 unique thing about this industry is that there's so many people that want to make sure that our seniors complete that application so that they can have access to services. And it also differs because you also have seniors that are on Medi-Cal mm -hmm. uh, are, and they, they're referred to as Medi-Medis. They uh -huh. have different needs. Uh, they're also, many of them are low income or they have uh, chronic disabilities that uh, they need special attention. Uh, there's also, we have specialists that work with them as well. So they have to understand the difference between Medicare and Medi-Medi? Yes, Medi-Medi. Yeah. It's, okay. it, 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 
like as I shared with you, it gets a little complicated <laughs> and that's where having somebody and being able to come to a center where you're not getting rushed. Okay. I think uh, that's the other, uh, that's the other benefit of having our community center is sometimes when you're on the phone, you feel like I need to end the conversation. Right. <laughs> uh, in this one, we've had, we can talk to the, the seniors or to the family members in many cases, sometimes uh, they come with their family members because they... So they you guys should just set up very differently where it's very, again, culturally sensitive and which includes a, a respect to elders, of right? Course. And I think that I, I like that approach, Mark. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, Mark nói với mình đó là cái Clever Care là một một trung tâm um, rất là quan trọng cho cái công việc của, uh, cái, cái, cái sở giúp đỡ cho người cao niên. Uh, Julie cũng nói đó là cái cộng đồng của mình là mình, mình rất là um, thấy À, cái người lớn tuổi, cái người cao niên là rất quý trong cộng đồng của mình Thì Clever Care có cái số điện thoại liên lạc Có người Việt Nam à, sẽ bắt điện thoại Lúc mà mình nói chuyện với họ, mình có câu hỏi gì Họ sẽ rất là kiên nhẫn, họ nói chuyện với mình Không có làm nôn gì hết mà make sure Lúc mà mình có cái cần gì thì họ sẽ nói chuyện với mình chi tiết thêm Với make sure cái giấy tờ xong hết Mark nói đó là healthcare là khó, khó, rất là khó khăn Mình phải hiểu biết là Medicare là cái gì, Medi Medi là cái gì Mà thiệt ra mình không có hiểu hết Thì chừng nào quý vị có thời gian tới tham dự tới cái community center Mình có người uh, trả lời câu hỏi cho quý vị Chừng nào mình muốn gặp một, một, một người uh, uh, trực tiếp tiếp thêm nữa khi nào quý vị uh, muốn gọi số điện thoại liên lạc một nửa lần nữa thì Mark sẽ sẽ chia sẻ Mark what's the phone number one more time I, I forgot the number the, the telephone number is 833 uh, 808-8163 okay so it'll probably be on the screen so then our families can can um, access that what I was saying that you know a lot of seniors they may not be comfortable using the phone but they might that's why they need the community center that they're somewhat available for them, you know, to, to talk to. But like you mentioned too, that, you know, some of our seniors just need an excuse to get out of the house. And, and I think uh, one of the big things that people forget about is isolation and loneliness. Right. And, right. and, and uh, I think that's been an outlet for many seniors to be able to have that conversation. And I love talking to people. And so uh, sometimes, although we have a language uh -huh. barrier, Sometimes it's simply offering somebody tea or right. offering them uh, a snack at the center. And it just kind of brings that, um, that smile and that connection back that we need. You know, when, when, you, when I tell you that OC to me always stands for our community, I definitely see you as part of the Vietnamese community. Such a really important, crucial fabric because you don't have to be Vietnamese to be part of the Vietnamese community. It's really having the love for our food having the love of our culture and, and, and for you, a respect for our elders. So Mark, again, I really do appreciate you as a friend and as, as a community leader because it means a lot to me when I see an organization that doesn't just, you know, um, sponsor booth or sponsor a table here and there. You guys really come out and you guys really do show up and that, that speaks volume to your commitment in, in the community, Mark. Um, I just really love that you have such an affinity and respect for our seniors and reminding uh, the people and, and our, our audience that, you know, um, our seniors, our parents, our grandparents, they're very lonely. And having a community center is a place for them to establish friendship, but more importantly, for them to access programs and services that maintains their physical health as well as their mental health. So again, thank you, Mark, um, for, for this. Is there something that you want to say to our audience about you know, the importance of getting out and being a part of, you know, the Clever Care community. I, I think it's uh, being open. And, mm -hmm. and, and for me, I, I, I try to share to people that I, I'm always learning. I'm, I'm learning about the culture. Um, that's one thing that I, I try to do uh, when I work with different groups and especially our seniors and our families is that there's so much to learn and we can learn from each other and like, uh, I, I put the wrong sauces on the, the wrong food, <laughs> uh, but I'm learning, you know? Right. But right. I think it, it's these uh, little engagement that we have, whether a senior comes in and they share a little something about themselves, I kind of take that inside and, and, and I learn from what they, what they share with me. Um, if I can just uh, share, when I was in high school, I did a project where we interviewed seniors and, uh, 
And I remember they were talking about things in the Great Depression and uh, uh -huh. uh, in, in World War II. And then as, and those were, those stories kind of resonated and I still remember those stories. Right. And so now as I'm a lot older, I listen to some of the stories that our elders talk about. And I'm taking those stories in, and they're, they're so meaningful. And I think that's what our community needs to have. And you know, when you're creating these opportunities for seniors to come out, you get to learn from them, and then they can also learn from you. And I think that's kind of what, what I love about our community is that we have that respect and that generational um, bridging together. So after the commercial break, we'll definitely talk more about all the great work you're doing. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Sau bằng quảng cáo, chúng ta sẽ tiếp tục chuyện với Mark Perez, Senior Manager của Clever Care, là cũng là President của Heritage Museum of Orange County.